classification of sharks. You can use this video to complete the worksheets 3, 4 and 5. Listen to the video as many times as is necessary for you to complete the worksheets. The skate shark. It has a rounded snout with pointed central tip. A small dorsal fin is present near the tip of the tail. Concavity appears to be more prominent in males. The posterior margins of the pectoral fins are rounded. Small thorns extend down the center line of the back and the tail and run across the margin of the snout. The dorsal pattern includes regular sized dark spots or polka dots and larger less frequent dark spots. The overall coloration is grey to brown. The thresher shark. The muscular thresher shark cuts quite a figure as it navigates through its deep water domains. It is also called the thresher shark. This species possesses a distinctive large tail that resembles the arc of a rainbow. The tail is so large that it accounts for 33% of the shark's total body weight. It is rarely seen near shore. The thresher shark mostly lives along the continental shelves of North America and Asia. It has been identified in all of the world's tropical oceans. Thresher sharks are solitary. Sawfish The common name sawfish refers to any member of the sawfishes. Despite their shark-like form and manner of swimming, they are rays or batoids. These large to huge sized rays are characterized as having an elongated blade-like snout rostrum or saw that has laterally placed tooth-like tentacles, rostral teeth, set into sockets. Sawfishes inhabit all coastal tropical and subtropical waters, including estuaries and river systems. They have no pelvic fin. The Mako Shark The term Mako means shark or shark tooth in the Maori language. The genus name of the short fin Mako refers to the same tail. The top half of the caudal fin is the same size as the bottom half, while pointed snout is the meaning of for the species name. Mako sharks have been identified both temperate and tropical waters of the world. The key features of Mako shark are big black eyes, bluntly pointed snout, prominent caudal keel and high aspect ratio. It is white coloured on the ventral side, while its dorsal portion is vibrant blue. The lower section of the mouth and its surrounding areas are white in colour. The cat shark. Cat sharks may be distinguished by their elongated cat like eyes and dorsal fin set far back. Most species are not particularly large, with lengths up to 60 to 70 centimetres or so, although the humpback cat shark from the deep waters of the South China Sea has been recorded at 4 metres in length. Most of the species have a patterned appearance ranging from stripes to patches to spots. They feed on invertebrates and smaller fish. Whale shark. The whale shark is the largest fish species and largest species of shark. The whale shark is not a whale. The whale shark has a huge mouth at the front and more than 3,000 tiny teeth. It has a wide flat head, two small eyes and five pairs of gills. Each whale shark has a unique checkerboard of yellow stripes and spots on its thick grey skin. Whale sharks can measure 18 meters. The whale shark is a slow moving animal. Unlike other species of shark that propel their bodies with their tail, the whale shark uses its whole body to swim. Requiem shark. Requiem sharks are found primarily in warm and temperate ocean waters, though a few species inhabit fresh or brackish water. The requiem shark is one of the largest families of sharks and some of the larger, I can't pronounce that word, such as the black tip, white tip, bull shark and lemon sharks are potentially dangerous to humans. Requiem sharks are typically shark-like in appearance, having two dorsal fins, an anal fin, an elongated upper tail lobe and single cusp blade shaped teeth. Like other sharks, they are carnivorous preying on fishes and various other animals. The species range in length from about 1.5 to 5.5 meters. Dogfish. The dogfish has a long flattened pointed snout. The color is gray to brown above, usually with small white spots. White spots may follow a lateral line. The eyes are large. 
they have mildly venomous spines on the first and the second dorsal fins. The anal fin is absent. It has a white belly. Stingray Stingrays are usually large and flat, have no appendages, and have pectoral fins that look more like wings than fins and are used for propulsion. Rays like to roam along the seabed and sometimes bury themselves in the loose sediment as protection against predators. Organs located behind the eyes called spiracles help them to breathe when hidden under the sand. Unlike the bat ray which forms schools of several hundred individuals, most rays are solitary. The Goblin Shark Unlike the sneak, fast-moving sharks most people recognize, the goblin shark is a flabby, slow-moving animal, and sad to say, even with its pink highlights, it, uh, the white to light grey shark wouldn't win a shark beauty contest. The goblin shark has a short, flat, pointy snout that makes it look like a peculiar swordfish. Its mouth looks like the mouth of a grotesque puppet. Rows and rows of fang-like teeth line the top and bottom jaws of this shark and would be the envy of Dracula. The False Cat Shark The false cat shark's only resemblance to a cat is its elongated eyes. Cat sharks in general are also distinguished by two small dorsal fins. Interestingly enough, many members of this same family of sharks are also called dogfish. These sharks possess spiracles, which are respiratory openings behind the eyes. They also have a large mouth with a very wide gape, the better to hold its hundreds of teeth. The small teeth fit tightly together in multiple rows arranged around the shark's mouth. This shark has been found in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. It favours deep waters between 656 to 4921 feet. The first dorsal fin is almost half the length of the body. Cow Shark there are four species of cow sharks. The smallest is the sharp-nosed shark, which will grow to about four feet. The blunt-nosed six-gill shark is the largest and may grow up to 16 feet. The largest known cow shark was over 15 feet and weighed over 1,300 pounds. Females may live up to 80 years. Hammerhead A hammerhead shark has a head shaped like a hammer to help its uh, it detects electrical impulses given off by its prey. Hammerhead sharks swing their heads from side to side like a metal detector. The hammerhead shark's eyes and nostrils are at each end of the hammer. The positioning of its eyes allow 360 degrees vision. Hammerhead sharks gather in large shoals during the day, then hunt alone at night. Hammerhead sharks feed mainly on fish and squid. Hammerhead sharks grow up to 4 meters long but get scared by the sound of divers' bubbles. Hammerhead sharks give birth to live young rather than to laying eggs. The manta ray shark. It is a harmless filter feeder. It has no teeth in its upper jaw and only tiny skin-covered stumps in its lower jaw. It uses a pair of fleshy flaps on each side of its head to direct zooplankton or tiny animals and the occasional small fish into its mouth which is on the underside of its body. These flaps, which are unfilled when feeding, are rolled into spirals while not in use. Excess water is sieved out through the mantis gills. It has two horn-like appendages at the front. And that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you were able to find all the answers. Good luck.